not in the least. If anything, the suffering caused by this pandemic shows me more than ever the places where I have tended to put my faith in other things than God or to make God rather marginal in the picture. It's brought home to me very sharply my complete dependency on God and the dependency of the whole cre of human creation on God. I think one of the things it's also done is to make it clear how vitally important human solidarity is. That's not just an option, it's an absolute vital necessity. We cannot live without one another. We cannot live in a way that ignores our need for one another. That's been brought home very sharply by this virus and I hope I pray every single day that this is a lesson we won't forget. God has been so powerfully present in the ways in which human beings have turned to one another, have shown their extraordinary capacity for goodness and kindness and solidarity, for self-emptying. We have that capacity within us. It's just that so often we don't need to use it. This COVID virus has made us dust down these capacities out of the cupboard and blow the dust off and realize that they are essential capacities, capacities that make life not just easier, but so much more deeply human, so much more radically Christian. So let's not put them back in the cupboard when we don't need them anymore. Let's keep these capacities, these human capacities alive and working today and every day, way beyond the virus. I think that is a way in which we will build a better and more faith-filled world.